Test one, two, three, four. Test one, two, three, four. Test one, two, three, four. I'm fascinated by the way people draft. Uh, some people, you know, string together bunches of quotes. I work from a, um, a mind map, generally, where I've got a kind of a, a concept map of what's going on. That's changed now that I've started to use different media. So uh, I use, for example, two particular programs when well, I'm beginning to use Final Cut Pro, and I use Aperture for images. So images are tagged, and they've got um, all sorts of metadata associated with them. So I can do searches on images and group them in different ways and into smart folders and things like that. So I can get a, they almost tell their own story, right? If I group images a certain way, they're already kind of forming the way that I'm going to write about them in a way. So the organizational tactics I use with my various media very much shapes what I'm going to write about or how I'm going to write about them or how they're going to be incorporated into my writing. Um, I'm really, I'm only getting to understand Final Cut Pro right now but again, its, it's, it's, it's emphasis is not on having uh, discrete bins. It's more events, right? So you, you, you tag your, your material as it comes into the program, and, and then you can do all sorts of filtered searches on that afterwards. So it makes me think differently about what that image is doing, or I think about how it's composited, like whether it's a, a mid shot or a far away shot, or whether the sound is good or not, or the kinds of work that I'll need to do with that media to make it of a standard that will go into my final writing product. So I'm very interested at the moment in media flows uh, because I haven't really been on top of that in the past. I'm spending a lot of time trying to go back through all of my gigabytes of media to try and streamline them in a way where I can find what I need when I need it, rather than wondering whether I have it at all. And I've, I'm, I'm really fascinated by how the organizational tools we use to streamline the writing actually forms the writing itself and is much, plays a much greater role in the final written product than we ever give it, um, um, we ever acknowledge, right? Because having those materials at hand or how you organize them in the drafting process very much uh, is going to change how you write.